Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is selflessness. We all have a tendency towards selfishness. None of us have a tendency towards selflessness. Paul asked the question, has Jesus done anything for you? Has Jesus ever given you strength? Have you ever experienced Jesus' love? Have you ever experienced Jesus' comfort? Have you ever experienced Jesus' mercy? Have you ever experienced Jesus' kindness? Have you ever experienced the Holy Spirit, his presence, his power, his moving? As Christians, as people of like precious faith, as believers, as followers of Jesus, the answer to these rhetorical questions is a resounding yes. The answer is, of course. If that is your answer, then the Holy Spirit through Paul calls you to live a life of selflessness. He writes, then be like-minded. In other words, think the same thing. Be selfless. Serve God by serving God's people. Have the same love, the same love as Jesus. Jesus said, love others as I have loved you selflessly. Be of one accord. Be group-focused, surrendering self-goals for group goals. By the way, an absolute ingredient to be part of a championship team. Surrender self-goals for the group goal. Be of one mind and purpose, completely selfless. His mind, his purpose. Do not let selfishness or pride be your guide. Ho! Oh, let the Holy Spirit be your guide in pursuing Jesus' kingdom. Honor others more than self. See, he's calling us to make our lives about honoring God and respecting God by honoring God's people and respecting God's people. Look after taking care of yourself and your interests, those things that you need, and take responsibility to look after to take care of others. Be part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Be a resource provider instead of a resource consumer. Whoa! Think and act like Jesus. Be conformed to his image. Imago Dei. Jesus did not live for himself. Jesus gave up what it meant to be God. Jesus made himself nothing. Jesus, the creator, allowed himself to be born as a man, became the created. Whoa. Jesus, the master, became the servant. Jesus humbled himself, emptied himself, lived selflessly. Jesus was fully obedient to God, even to the death on the cross. Jesus, the Almighty God, the unlimited creator, the all-knowing one, humbled himself, lived a selfless life for you, for me, for all who will believe and receive selflessness, a natural impossibility, a supernatural responsibility. Thank you, Lord, that you are working in me to help me want to live selflessly and be able to live selflessly, want to do, be able to do that which pleases you. Imitate Jesus live the selfless life. The word for today is selflessness. God bless. Check in tomorrow.